Hey chums, it's Resident Evil Zero. That's right, we are checking out the new Switch release. Uh, this is a, you know, it's an old game. Uh, it's been out for quite some time. Uh, but this is the uh, HD re-release of the game on the Switch. Now this has come out as an HD uh, re-release on I think PS4 and Xbox One and Steam but the Switch has not seen it yet uh, which is uh, cool that it's finally out here it's actually coming out with 0, 1, and 4 all on the same day here and we're going to be taking a look at all the games if you are, are interested in seeing what the other two games look like as well we're going to be taking a look at that uh, but I gotta say I'm pretty excited to check out Zero here um, I have some history with it it's actually, uh, believe it or not I have to say I think it's my favorite Resident Evil uh, which I think is an unpopular opinion. Look how gross this is. Whoa! Zombies and guns and <laughs> there's Billy. I think that's his name, right? Um, I have not played this game since it came out on the GameCube, which I, I believe this game was a GameCube exclusive way back when it came out. What was it 15, 16 years ago? It, I think it's been that long. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, though, this is my favorite Resident Evil, and I think part of that is because... Um, I, I was, it's the only Resident Evil game that I've actually played through all the way. Like, I actually played it from beginning to end. And uh, part of the reason being is because this one introduced uh, the whole uh, double character thing, where you see right there, you can actually switch between him and her, um, and you go back and forth doing different things to solve puzzles and, and uh, that kind of thing. So, um, I actually was pretty riveted by this game. I, I didn't find it uh, to be as... Um, I don't know, I, I don't know what the word is, like, archaic as some of the other Resident Evil games, because back then they had tank controls, you know, and they, they just weren't really all that fun for me to play. Uh, but for, for some odd reason, this one really grabbed me. And I, I say that it's not a popular opinion, because I think that um, back in the day, a lot of people viewed Zero as the subpar Resident Evil game. And I'm not quite sure why that was. I don't know if it was like a story thing or if it was a character thing. I'm not really sure. Uh, but regardless, um, I actually dug this game so much to the point where I call it my favorite Resident, e Resident Evil game. Even more than four, <laughs> believe it or not. I played through probably about half of four. Uh, enjoyed what I played of it, but I just got ended up getting tired of it uh, for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to check this out. Let's actually jump in right now. A little disappointed that we didn't get a Resident Evil Zero. Hopefully it's coming up here in a second. Great save data, of course. We're going to need it here. Alright, so what do we got here? You can see it's got that same old Resident Evil style, same font, everything like that. Just want to see what... Okay, display. What do we got here? Wide or original? We're going to stick with widescreen here. So you can play in the original 4-3 scale if you want, which is kind of interesting. Switch audio, listening mode, TV, midnight. Ooh, I wonder what midnight is. Maybe certain sounds are louder, like when the zombies attack you or something like that. Uh, let's see what's in extras. You got your manual, you got a gallery of, of ones. I Yeah, I was going to say, I assume you actually unlock these as you play the game. And there are achievements to unlock. So for those of you who are missing achievements on the Switch, there is achievements to unlock in here as well, which is pretty cool. Okay. Enough delaying. Let's get into the game. We're gonna we're just gonna go for on normal here. Resident Evil Zero. Oh, there it is. That makes my night. Right there. Alright. Um so we got display wide. Okay, so you can change it here too. It says new controls that match the current standards or the original, which are the original tank controls. We're going to leave that all on. It's got all my favorite defaults on, so perfect. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, mm. Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Very traumatic. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. Mm. When was it established? By whom? Who knows? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning. 
before the mansion incident. So yes, this is the first prequel in the Resident Evil series, to my knowledge. I, be I believe that is the case. Hmm. Hence the zero. So too. Yeah. I just so you guys know, this doesn't end well. You'll find out in just a moment, but... Ah! Gross slug things! Oh, we're getting, we're getting HD rumbles here. Oh man, they're eating the conductor. Whoa. Ah. All right, here we go. Two hours later, above Raccoon Forest. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. Oh man, emergency landing in a helicopter? Is that a thing you can do? He just means crash, right? Emergency landing. I mean, uh, we're crashing. <laughs> it's a way to keep everyone calm. Position and investigate the surrounding area. Will do. Captain, look. <gasps> yep, like I said, not going to end up good, guys. No good at all. Captain. Hmm? What happened? Ew. Order for transportation. Yep, there he is. This Billy Cohen. Cohen. I remembered his first name. Six years old. And I don't know why. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs. And that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. I do like that she felt the need to read the whole thing out loud to everybody. No inner monologue on that one. Quite a long, uh, long CG introduction. I don't remember a CG introduction this long in the game. Gameplay starts when she gets on the train, so it won't be too much longer now. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. And here we are. Oh, wow. These controls are nice. And the game looks really good on the Switch here. All right, we're going to head this way. Things switch pretty, pretty well. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. The seats are stained red with blood. So I don't remember anything about this game as far as, like, where to go, what to do, that kind of stuff. So, you guys are just going to have to bear with me if you played this, this more recently Officer than I have. From Stars Bravo team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? Oh, there's someone there, all right. <laughs> what were they listening to?
That's my Green Day cassette. Dookie's my favorite album. Okay. So, we're gonna get... Oh, I hit the map button, apparently. Alright, so... Uh... <laughs> what are the controls? There we go. Oh, no. This is not good. I had no idea what the controls were. Okay, I think I'm dead. Yep. Quick death. Okay. D had no idea what the controls were. I guess I should have looked. You have three zombies coming at me right off the bat? Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zero. It kicks you back out to title screen. And I don't have any saves or anything. Does that mean we got to sit through the whole CG thing again? Oh, boy. I hope we can skip that because... That's not Zero. fair. I didn't know what the... Because I know you had to hit a button to aim and then a button to... To uh, actually shoot. Ugh. Alright, let's hope we can skip through this. There we go. Okay. Thankfully, we can. Alright, we're going to explore a little bit in this first cabin just a little bit more here. Okay. So, you hit the trigger. Okay, so... Top left trigger is your map. Is there a control? Okay, there's no... No control setting. Okay, so the right bumper is how to aim. And you can pivot around. A is to shoot. Uh, inventory is Y. Okay. I probably should have done all this in the beginning, right? Right? Alright, let's go explore here. Yep, luggage thrown about. And we can't go through that door. Now, of course, this is uh, going back to the Resident Evil games where, you know, uh, everything was a forced perspective. See, there's a guy laying here. Oh, well. In we go. The only one I didn't figure out is which one is run, which I'm assuming is B. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Okay, we're going to start through this. Just get him down. Wow, the guy took a lot of shots. <laughs> wow, did he take a lot of shots? What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Well, they are dead, but. Moving around, are they gonna pop back up? That's what I'm waiting for. Aha, through the window you see a broken ladder. It's of no use right now. But it may be later. Up the stairs we go. So, still has that same old Resident Evil feel of uh, loading up stuff. Oh, there's all those little slug things. Alright, so we got a green herb. Yes, we definitely want to take the herb. Always take the herb. Oh, this... Can't be good. Is that all that's up here? Just an herb? They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. Ugh, gross. But yeah, as I was saying, this is back in the day when Resident Evil had the uh, fun door animations and stair animations and, uh, you know, transition scenes where it just kind of goes back and forth between... What? You're back? Done. Put him down. Run. Dude's got to be dead at this point, right? I can hear him walking toward me. There he is. Okay, I think he's gone now. I'm still still moving. All right, into the other door. Let's 
do this. We did get a green herb, though. I'm sure you can run by most of these zombies, too. I'm just no... I'm not a Resident Evil pro. That's the whole thing. Rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Oh, we're going into the spooky bathroom. Doesn't seem to be anything of use. Uh, yeah, except bullets. Of course we want the handgun ammo. So now, if we go in here, we can reload our gun. So combine with sh our, our weapon here. Oop, there was a note here I want to grab. Passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkley Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment, July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with type Y139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean T virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, brain development. Uh, if these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding uh, fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. Okay, so we figure out, you know, the head, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to, we're not going to go through all this stuff. But we did get a diary piece, which is good. And I think we're good to go in this room. We got some ammo. Always a good thing. Oh, we can go in here too. Loading on the switch, honestly, isn't all that bad. Loads, loads between rooms pretty quickly. All right, so we're gonna get an ink ribbon here, I think. Yep, that's what that was. And I think we're gonna hit our first save point here. Oh, we got another herb. Yes. And we're gonna get another note here. Investigation orders. Stay with blood. Some sections are uh, illegible. Uh, eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arkley Mountains lies our camp. Uh, NY's management training facility was shut down years ago. Uh, now we are conducting a pre uh, preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders... Uh, ooh, it gets real bad after that. Rest is torn and unreadable. I would agree. And I think at this point we can actually go into our inventory. And I'm pretty sure we can combine those two. Yep, and that will make herbal mix. Which then I believe we can mix that in to make a, a, a first aid spray. Okay, there's a typewriter. Record data? Yeah. So for those of you who have not played Resident Evil before, this is how you save your game. You have to find an ink ribbon and you have to save. Uh, there is absolutely no, <laughs> no other way to do it. Um, so if you end up dying, at least we have a place to come back to now. We don't have to start all the way over. Because man, disheartening when that happens. Especially when it happened to us right in the beginning there. Alright, we're moving on. the door we can go in? Nope. Conductor's office. So I'm assuming we need a key for that. He's holding something. Yeah, we want the key. But this is going to be bad because once we take it, he's going to come to life. Guaranteed. 